Hi, I'm Candace Cordelia and you're watching the BEN Network. Thank you for tuning in to our part two edition of our Global Faces of MTV report. In our last segment on the global faces of MTV, we introduced the origins of the Viacom-owned media company, its pulse on in-demand scripted and reality TV programming within the US, Europe, and Asia, and the fact that there are marked differences in the images depicted from each territory. In this piece, we will look at the broadcasting rules and regulations of all three to see how they are able to affect what and who we view on the small screen. In the United States, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, governs broadcast law, which includes not only cable television, but radio, public broadcasting, and frequency allocation, for example. The FCC does not dictate the selection of broadcast programming, as stated on its official website, but can place restrictions on indecent programming, limits on the number of commercials aired during children's programming, and rules involving candidates for public office. Also, the FCC administers certain guidelines explicitly created to produce rivalry between media channels and companies providing services to the general public. In Europe, the governance of television varies from within its countries. For instance, in the United Kingdom, Ofcom is the communications regulator in the UK, controlling TV and radio sectors, fixed-line telecoms, mobiles, postal services, and wireless devices. According to their website, Ofcom makes sure that people in the UK get the best from their communication services and are protected from scams and sharp practices, while ensuring that competition can thrive. Yet, they are not responsible for a number of things, including the contents of television and radio adverts. In Hong Kong, Radio Television Hong Kong is the city's only public service broadcaster, and while under administrative hierarchy, it enjoys editorial independence. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, the People's Television Workshop went through several incarnations, first as government television in 1974, to no longer receiving state subsidies today. Broadcast regulation officials, at least in the United States and in parts of Europe and Asia, are not at the helm in making significant television programming decisions. So let's turn to some other brains behind the images MTV is selling, the marketers. Thank you for tuning in to our Global Faces of MTV Report Part 2, and stay tuned to Part 3 of our segment, where we'll look at the marketing magic and music behind the legendary channel. As always, we welcome your comments and suggestions. Please send them over to suggestions at bennetwork.com. I'm Candice Cordelia, and thank you for watching the BEN Network, where business and employment news comes first.